Hello again. So I wanted to make this video for anyone that's struggling to have their Creality Otter hardwired to their phone and it not connecting anymore. Uh, for whatever reason, the 2.212 app has broken this feature. Uh, but fortunately, I will show you how to downgrade the app and regain functionality. Uh, interestingly, also on Creality's website, they don't show the 2.212. Not sure why, but Regardless, uh, you can go to different websites to download APKs. Uh, in this instance, I'm using APK Pure. And you can see what their, their latest version is, the 2.212. But I know that 2.2.6 works for me. So I am going to download that. And you do want to be a little careful on these websites because there's usually a lot of ads. But just scroll around and make sure you pay attention to what you're clicking on. So here I click to download the XAPK, and you can see I've already got it downloaded, so I just hit cancel in this example. And then you want to go into the App Store, uninstall the new app, the 2.212 app, and then use an XAPK installer. You can see the one that I used here. The first time you try it, you'll get a couple of errors. You'll need to allow permission, and then you'll see uh, even just with that alone, the install will actually fail. There's a, a lot of security settings that help to try to prevent unintended downloads of things that you may not want on your phone. So you'll need to go into your settings. And then I use the, the search and type in auto blocker. And once that comes up, you'll see a toggle switch that you will need to flip and disengage so that you can use the XAPK installer um, to downgrade the software. Um, so now you can go back to the XAPK installer, hit go, wait around for the different ads that it's going to try to play for you again. But there's always usually an X on the top left or the top right uh, after a few seconds. So just a little bit of patience. And then after a few moments, You'll click through install a couple of times and then it will say successful install. So from here you can go back to the Play Store and what you really should do is go to your, your settings and then in the network preferences auto update, turn off the auto update feature. Uh, the, the reason for this is otherwise your app will update itself probably overnight and the functionality will be broken again because it will have reverted to the new app that doesn't work. So make sure to turn auto update off. Then you can open up the Creality Scan app just like normal. And you go through and it's, it's a fresh install. And now you can see that the scanner is green on the bottom left, meaning that it's connected and works with a 2.2.6 version here. And so I've recovered functionality of the app by downgrading from the new version down to the old version that I know still works. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will try to help you out. Thank you for watching.